Today we're going to learn how to paint a horse and a lady on a horse walking on the beach. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold hair. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. Take a look at where and how big I'm going to draw. So I'm going to put my hand over here. I'm going to draw with graphite today. Last week, we already talked about the drawing process. The circle contained bold. Uh, the person and the horse. Do you want the head of the horse coming all the way on the right side over here, or you want to move a little bit back? So before you spend the time drawing the details, you have to make up the mind on a big decision, the big shape. You can see that the angular measurement, you can coming up over here and coming up these directions. It looks like the head would be about here. All right, I'm going to start with the blue color with a little red, so a little bit more gray in the background. We already have, already have a little red color here. So I'm going to take the Windsor blue green shade, something like that. And if you want it to be brighter, you can add to the French outer marine coming from the background like that. If you want to add a little red color to it, it's totally up to you. Now I'm going to have a little bit more coming forward. That is kind of pretty light, right? And that's the reflection of the sky. And I'm going to have a little bit more uh, Windsor Blue Green Jade. Now get a little bit brighter. Now here you go. Get a little bit brighter. This is a gradient wash that is in the watercolor basics technique. You see that there is a, some practice on that. Okay, coming down over here, I'm going to leave the sh Y shape for the wave, right? I'm going to have it like this and look around. And the only thing that we need to leave is the face or maybe also the hair. The hair have uh, some warm color. So I'm going to paint it around over here. So make sure also the outside a little bit more continuous. Okay. And the face over here, I'm going to paint in at the front over here. And then the dress, I don't need to leave it. It's just paint over. That will be fine because there is a little bit darker version of the color, right? Now, here you go. Now I come to the horse. Now let's paint around the horse, but the ear, we don't have to leave it. Now here you go. Now I come to the front over here. Now continue the wave, right? That white space, here you go. Now we finish the top over here. Ta-ta, that's good, right? Pretty good color. And now in the front over here, I'm going to have a little bit, a uh, little bit kind of purplish color. So I'm going to take this uh, French outer marine, which is the red shade blue color. I'm going to add a little bit red and you can see the color a little bit warmer at the front over here. And I'm going to take a look. Wow, that's pretty bright. All right, that's good. I'm going to have a little bit water. Here you go. Now look the shape of the light space. Okay. Like that. And come into the horse right here. That's good. All right. Now we'll take a look at coming down. It's right in here. That is another light shape. Here you go. Maybe add a little blue color in here. So 
I want it to be somehow uh, echo to the other color. So I'm going to come back here. On this side, in the belly, there's this light. So, and the horse tail is actually darker. So you can judge it. Okay, it's darker. I can just paint over it. That will be fine, right? Over here, I'm going to leave a little light color on the top. When you're painting, you just make sure you look, analyze it, and decide. And not use the same color, the same uh, value, and just automatically going to the space without thinking. Okay, that is not going to be good, right? So I'm going to have this color. And I'm going to have this color also merge into here because I want to see a little bit continuous uh, color from here all the way coming to the front. Now in the front over here, I'm going to have this, uh, somehow I just make the the color a little bit too low. Okay, that's okay. Now I can come in over here. I'm going to go through the legs. Oh, careful. The leg, the front, we want to keep the uh, light space. So I'm going to keep that over here like that. A little bit of space like that. And the back, so okay. The front, we need to keep the white space. Like that. Here you go. Now, wet this space. And can have it a little bit closer so it's just to make the horse closer to the water and that will be okay okay now at the front here we can have a little bit lighter but first i'm going to let go this color okay let go this color just use the Fry brush, you can just let it go. Okay. I'm showing you how to correct the mistakes. Okay, that's okay. I'm going to let go that a little color on this leg as well. And also over here, you can just simply wipe it off with the brush. That's good. That's is all right. Okay, now. I'm going to come to just use a very light color, very light of this color, just like this. So keep a little bit reflection feeling on the water. That's okay. I'm going to have a little bit more of the uh, French Ardor Marine color. I'm going to have it at the bottom over here. And we can see a little bit more a little bit more blue color. There you go, like that. A little bit over here. A little bit over here too, like that. Keep a little bit uh, relaxing. So if the color a little bit different, that's okay. Uh, the ocean change it like every second. Okay. Now at the front over here, I'm gonna start use a little Red, yellow, and a little blue color make it a little bit uh, kind of light brown color. Right? This is probably good. Uh, maybe a little bit red. So I'm going to take a little red, mush into it, put it on. Oh, that's just fine. Put it like this. And you can have a little dry brush. That will be okay. Like this. And the edge over here, we can paint a little bit more later for that. Okay, you see some colors is not really mixed well, but it will be okay. Let's paint it into the shadow over here and set some different colors over here. So I'm going to use my calligraphy brush. Now I'm going to take, looks like this color is perfect color, right? And just always looking for your mixing area. If you already see the color, already have the color, you don't have to mix it from the from the scratch. I'm going to start from the middle over here. I'm going to just a little line like this. Simple thing, right? Just put a little line, a little shorter line like that. And put it down and leave it up. 
and you don't have to make it uh, very much like the all the same distance. Somehow a little bit closer, somehow a little bit away, like that, like that. That's very relaxing, very simple, like a little bit like that. So if you have the exact same brush, you should be able to do exactly how I do it. Okay, like that, a little bit. Relax, okay. Uh, your painting reflecting your mind. Okay, if you have a little bit shorter, a little bit longer, observe to pick up the information that you need from the reference. And now see that that is just the feeling of the movement of the water, like that. Here you go. Right, some a little shorter, smaller in the background. Here you go. I put a few over here, like that. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit more color and coming a little bit closer. Okay, now a little bit bigger, put it down and then moving it up, okay? Pressure down, moving it up, like that. Here you go, like that. Okay, push it down, push it down a little bit, moving it up, simple. If you can do it one brush instead of multiple brush, I would go with one brush, right? Like that. That's good. Now I'm gonna do a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna take this color first, and I'm gonna start putting it in here. Put it down, and I'm gonna wet this whole area like this. Here you go. And this is great. And I don't want to make it too high, so I'm gonna have it just wet wrap around uh, the girl so that it make her to stand out a little bit even more as the main object. Okay, like this. I'm gonna put a little shape over here and you see a couple more. Okay, we can wrap around other shapes. Now coming to the front over here, continue the motion. Okay. Now, wrap around over here. Now, this color a little bit brighter. So I'm gonna get a little bit, uh, the green shade, uh, Windsor Blue. I'm gonna have it a little bit like this. Oh, this color may be too much, definitely, right? I'm just gonna have the color change that a little bit and coming around the front of the horse. Here you go, like that. Over here, I'm gonna leave a little gap Okay, now I'm gonna mix the color a little bit more neutral, coming here, like that. Here you go. Now I'm gonna come back over here to adjust the color. All right. Oh, this is good. Uh, maybe leave it up a little bit. I'm just the clean brush, no color in the brush. I'm gonna just remove the color and then come back over here. You can lift up the color. You see, no biggie. You can, you can do the same like that. Okay, if you're too much, you can just lift it up, remove it. Okay, a little dry brush over here, that's okay. Like that, that's good. I'm gonna leave the color the way it is, that's fine. I'm gonna come back here to give it a few more on this side, because this is very close to us. That's why it should have a little bit more contrast, right, like this. No, 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 uh, it's already dry right now. Okay, the paper is, you know, we have been stopping and have conversation for 10 minutes, more than that. And the paper usually only draw wet, keep it wet like a four to five minutes, that's it. Okay, like that. Okay, now we have enough, but over here a little bit too flat on the top, right? We want to break it a little bit. In that case, I'm gonna come in to use the uh, one inch flat brush, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna break the shape over here. Now it's that, it's breaking. Like this. Now it's no longer flat. I'm gonna lift up a little color here too. 
I'm also going to leave up some color from here coming up like this. So this shape is no longer solid. And you can remove that, make this area a little bit softer if you want. So these two brush is work together side by side. It can give you any result that you look for. Okay, now it's much better. Um, now I'm going to do uh, the water on the back over here looks fine right now. I'm going to just add a little bit more color and to maybe in here like this. A little bit over here like that. It's almost like you put it down and leave it gradually coming up. And if this is a little bit too dark, just use the clean clicker fee brush. Just leave it up, okay? And make it a little bit lighter. And that's it. It's very easy to modify. Okay, on this side, I'm going to have a little bit more, a little bit more brighter color over here. I do want to add a little bit shape over there. Just the water now and just make it a little bit softer, like this. There you go. Now the wave have a little bit more contrast. That's good. All right, a little bit over here, like that. Okay, now I'm gonna change it. Now I'm gonna come to a little bit more uh, French outer marine, that kind of blue color. Okay, a little bit warmer blue. Now I'm gonna just have a little bit, little short uh, horizontal line. I'm gonna put it here for this area showing the reflection, like that. Just put it down and put it up. That's very easy, okay? Don't overcomplicate it. Just put it down, put it up, okay? There you go. And this is good, suggesting the water movement. And I'm gonna come in on the, this side. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Put it down and put it up. Like that, you can do it much faster. The same horizontal uh, movement. Okay, that's good. So that's a lot of suggestions. That's good. Now the front over here, now I'm gonna do a little bit uh, line. Take a look at that. Maybe also the French outer marine and um, take a look. I'm gonna have on this side, have a little line and both sides actually there's a small light shape over here like that. That's fine. And then on the gap over here, it have a little bit more like a brown color. I'm gonna take a little brown color over there and this is the, so this, because the sand coming up like that, have a little gap over here. Uh, I'm gonna give a little shape over here. Okay, from place to place like that. And a little bit water. Also on the edge, I do want to leave a little bit more like a reflection. Here you go. Okay, that already look good. And I'm gonna give a little bit light shape on the front, on the, on the top over here in the middle, and showing that's just the movement. You don't have to do a whole lot sometimes. Like, okay, a little bit, a little bit blue color too. Okay, in the back over there, I'm gonna come back with a little bit, uh, combined with the little light purple color and the light brown color. So here you go, a little bit like that. Not very, very dark. But it gives it a little illusion that the water moving. 
like that. Just everything we're doing is suggestions. It's not we are kind of we produce the ocean. We cannot do that. We're not that powerful, right? But we're suggesting the color, the shape, and make the people connect with their own experience when they were on the beach. Okay, so the enough suggestions over here already. So we can come back to the to the back over here and compare this shape and this shape. That should be have less contrast. So I'm gonna have just a little bit lighter color. Okay, don't make it too uh, darker than the color and the first and the tie that closer to us. So I'm gonna have it a little bit like that. Have a little bit shape over here. Load the suggestions. Look at it before you uh, make the decision. Observe and analyze it. And here you go. This is, I'm gonna have a little bit the blue color, a little bit closer to the horse face over here. Just put it down and if they're too dark, Use the water to soften it, okay? A little bit. Making sure it's not too, too dark. Okay, here you go. And on the other side, somehow, looks like a little bit brighter blue color over here. So this is a very important spot. We want to... A little bit blue. A little bit warm blue like that that's good not really dark that's good showing that make sure you have keep the white color enough white color some i'm gonna have the uh, french outer marine over here have the shadow side this is the shadow of the water of the wave and i'm gonna start having this a little bit softly blended over like that that's good now on the other side i'm gonna have a very interesting brown color so i'm gonna have a little bit yellow and seeing that that's a little bit brighter yellow color with a little red that's good i'm gonna take this color add a little water and start painting this color See, this color looks like a really interesting color. So I'm also going to use a little gap, seeing those forms. And then on the wave, this. See that? That is a very interesting shape. And maybe a little bit brown, a little bit more darker, and the bottom over here, a little bit darker. And like that. And I also have a little shape over here like this show a little gap also a little shape over here i will come back to ref refine those shape that's good a little shape over here like that you know you don't want to make it look like they are rocks okay You're making sure you keep the uh, proper suggestions that this is a little bit more in the group on the top over here so i'm going to have a little bit softer connection over here like that, that's good. All right, you come back to give a little bit more suggestions a little bit later. So also a little bit blue color, also the footer over here, like that. Okay, that's good. All right, that is very successful. We'll come back to a little bit later with Gonna make some changes to it. Okay, that's good. And the bottom over here, we can add a little big shape, some little shadow. Here you go, a little bit. Like that. Also in the bottom over here too. We can make this even a little bit more contrast than uh, the tie in the back. A bit more contrast. 
is see you see the water kind of moving and I'm going to use a little lifting okay because right under here it should be a little bit lighter under the tie that's because there's a reflection it's just going to use the clean brush and just lift up carefully lift it up a little bit lighter and that's it it will make it feel like the reflection of that flat brush, like that, that much better feeling. And also in the front over here, I'm going to just lift up a little bit right under. So make it feel like there is the reflection because the water like a mirror. And I'm going to have this right underneath. Let me move that here. You go. Now on this side, also going to have a little extension from the white. That's good. Now on the top over there, and also I can use a little bit brown color right on the top over here. You see that? That's showing that is the sand stirred up from the beach like that that's good and over here can be a little bit more shadow yeah a little bit warmer like that there you go now it's already dry we can come back to give it a little bit more details there you go and a little bit more details but watch out you don't want to make it too too dark okay you don't want to take away the tension from the main object that will be too much okay like this i should also have some a little small line because it look a little bit too clean it's missing something so i'm gonna have a little line like this And on the beach, how about that? We're gonna have a, a few suggestions on the beach over here. Have a little bit brighter color, a little bit. I'm gonna have it just give a little, a few dot over here and there, make it random. Okay. That's good. Okay, that's good. So behind the horse, I definitely need is a little bit more feeling of the horse uh, footprint. Maybe somewhere need to be even darker. Okay, just a couple spot. Okay, that's good. Now looking at the edge of the water, red mix a little bit with the blue. Now let's take a look on the edge. I'm gonna put it right here. Now you can see that that's you create a connection. I'm gonna paint around the horse leg, make sure it is light enough. Okay, take a look at that. I'm going to take a little bit more color. Here you go. Coming back over here. So you can see the where's the edge of the water. Now we're going to start working into the main object. First, I'm going to have a little gray color on the horse back. So you see a little bit more brown color over here. Get a little bit red, a little bit. I wanted this is the shadow area. I want you to paint the shadow color first. A warm gray color, and then you get this color. Okay, like this. I just paint the color so I remind myself this is the shadow area. Like that. And I'm gonna the front over here I have a little bit yellow color. 
in the this area. It's beautiful. Okay, like that. A little bit red too. More like a little bit, a little bit more like orange. And I put in the face over here, and a little yeah brown color at the front. Now just organize to see how you would create the illusion of light and shadow before going into too much of the details. And the back over here, I um, need to put a little bit of uh, blue color in the back of the horse. It also look a little bit like a little bit red shade blue color. I want to put in the back over here. That is the blue color right in here. Now the color get a little bit uh, gray and gradually turn into the gray on the back of the horse like that. Here you go, coming down like this. And then with this color, I'm gonna continue also on the tail, over the same color over here too, coming out over here on the tail. Okay, now, and a little bit more red, and here you go. Now you need to pay a little bit more attention to the anatomy of the horse leg, right? You want to see this a little bit more straight. You don't want to open it up too big. Okay. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker brown color. Now take a look at the bottom right here. Now here you go. Like that. Have a little shape like this. And we're going to do the same thing on this leg. It's the same color, a warm brown color. It's almost like it can be a warm gray color or just a gray color. Okay, coming over here. Now here you go. Now I'm gonna see the shape of the legs. Here you go. Now up a little bit. So that's the shape of this. If I'm going to have this area look like a form, like a very round form, I need to take this color, right? I'm gonna have this, take a look. Don't get distracted by the details, but focus on the big form, the big connection. I'm gonna have this side a little bit darker. Now by having the shadow side over here, you're really showing that the horse Actually, this area has a big muscle, like that. It's very important. I'm gonna have this color. I know I'm gonna have a little brown color on the top, but create the illusion of the form before you go into the details. Very important. Okay, now I'm gonna continue working into the shadow side of the leg. I'm gonna take this color and take a look here. And here you go, a little the shadow side, warm blue color, and maybe not so bright, so it makes it a little gray color. Now here you go, now I'm gonna take a look at the side over here, All right, push it down, and then connect to the leg over here, and then come back over here, and push it down a little bit, and that's good. Suggesting that's the cast shadow of the horse. And the front over here, I'm going to mix a little bit with the brown color. Here you go. I'm going to have a little bit kind of this continuous shape. And a little shape over here too. Like that. That's good. All right. Now we're going to work into uh, the horse. Maybe let's set a little color uh, to overall some darker areas. So it's very easy to mix the brown color, right? The red and the blue color with the yellow color. Okay, here you go. Mix a very dark, warm gray color. So I'm gonna get a little blue. Ooh, that's too much maybe. I'm gonna, here you go. Now I'm gonna have this color coming over here. See, if 
there's too dark, add a little water to it, and this is easy. Okay, coming over here, let's see a little big horse. There's a little spot. Here you go. Now, and also, look at that, the horse over here, the lake. Here you go, that's good. Now coming to the back over here, you see the seat, you want to keep the seat, have some light. Okay, here you go, the top, like a, we are working on the bigger shape. And the backs and the seat over here. Now coming down, live around the lake area. Okay. Keep a little shape like that. I'm gonna refill the color. I want to come back to do a little bit more lifting. So create the illusion of the reflection under the belly. Okay, now take a look at under the belly over here. That's good. Now, perfect. Like that. Take a look at the detail here. A little shape over here. Pinged around the shoe. And that is a shape. Okay, like that. A little shape over here. And... That's good. Now, give a little suggestions for the gadgets. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit, um, it's just the same color, just walking into the head. Right, this is the ear, here you go. Now coming over here, looking for the shape. If you're thinking about a horse, it may be distract you from observation. It, I know it may not make sense, but from the experience, you do want to focus on the visual elements, like the shape, right? The lines, those, it's easier to convey your information. If you think it's a, oh, it's just a horse. It may be think about, oh, how I'm gonna get a shortcut to get a horse look like a horse. But there's no such thing as shortcut. It's all visual elements. Okay, now come down to over here. Leave the light color. And with this click of brush, you can leave the shape and paint the shape very easy. And just coming back over here. On the light side, I'm gonna have a little bit lighter color. Okay. So let's Keep using the same color at the front over here, a little bit. Here you go, like that. It's okay. Now I'm gonna start, add a little water. And just a little water. And now I'm gonna have the front over here, here you go. And the front of the horse have a little white spot. I'm gonna keep that. And I'm gonna also paint it around the, the horse eye. It maybe can have a little highlight over there. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna put this color over here. I'm gonna maybe come back to add a little detail a little bit later to the front of the horse uh, face. Now we get the shape of the horse. That's good, like that. And then down over here, we use the same brown color. Over here, that's the skin color. And see that, like this. Here you go. Now I'm gonna lower over here. It has a little gap, and then this need to be a little bit brown color. So I'm gonna mix a little bit red and yellow into this color, so that you get the brown color. How easy? Okay. I'm gonna come back here. Here you go. Like that. A little bit spot for the brown color. Here you go. That's good. 
Also the same brown color power for the strap coming the front over here, like that. Let's put that in. Okay, um, we can actually put a little color underneath over here. It's already ready, a little bit soft. Uh, I'm gonna put it over here. So that make it feel like a little bit more, uh, you know, uh, dividing the front and the back. I'm gonna use the water to soften this. Now, that's good. And the top over there, I can have a little bit warm brown color. A little bit over here, suggest so that a little bit shape. We come back to find finalize the detail, and also here the same brown color. And next time when you use the same color on top of the color they are already dry, you always see it darker. Now you can see, and under the belly, it just soften that all the way coming down. That's fine. That was showing the transition. Let's put a little color to the girl. And take a look at, let's put the color, the brown color on the hair. How about that? Just get a little bit red into this brown color. Just take a look at right here. Uh, okay. Take a look at the shape of the hair. Okay, like that. And I know this is the brown color in the brush. But it may be over here need to be lighter. So I'm going to paint around the light shape. Okay, like that on the back over here. It's going to turn into the, the darker brown color. And let's put a little darker brown color. The same color that you use for the horse. Okay, okay tap on it. So I have some darker color over here. And maybe I come back to set the color a little bit later on the bright area. I'm gonna continue and use the little bit more like a, a red shade blue color, which is French Ultramarine. I'm gonna have this color mixed into here. This is, would be the color I need it. Now take a look. Take a look at the shape like that. Okay, careful. And I'm gonna have it coming the back over here, I need to come back to the back. Okay, like that. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna paint this, the whole area, and also the arm, like this. And the face, I'm gonna suggest it a little bit smaller, okay. That's good, now the coat. After it dry, I bet it's going to be get a little bit lighter, so it will be okay. Now I'm going to continue coming down here, and by having the Windsor blue green shade, now change the color and have it this color, different from the coat, like that. Coming in the front over here, like that. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put the shadow a little bit later. So put the whole thing to be the same color, like that. Now it's the foundation color is very much there, right? And let's take a look at, I uh, have a little gray color over here. I'm gonna see this a little bit turning like that. I'm gonna just add the color over there, I'm going to have a little bit softer, just the water, blend the color a little bit, like that. A little bit that you add to the painting, it would uh, make it more realistic. Now on the horseback, on the, the back over here, I'm going to have a little bit more of this brown color. Here you go. All right now you can suggest the hair. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have a little bit of this. We can use a little brighter color if we want to. Just a few suggestions for the hair. Now it make it feel like the hair, right? And also the warm brown color, and put it on the front over here. 
Now that's beautiful, warm color. Now it's time to add the little bit light orange color to the hair of her head. Now see that? That's beautiful. It's a little bit lighter, like that. Okay. Now let's come back to the horse. Right? Let's take a look at the face. It's use the same brown color. Take a look in the back over here. It's ready. It's a little bit soft. That's just good. Sometimes you want something a little fuss, right? Doesn't really see so clear. Like that on the top over here. A little bit darker. And then I'm going to use the darker color to show is some of the uh, straps on the face. Okay, on this side can be a little bit darker. Like that. And then come to the horse, the nose. I will say, whip around the mouth. You see the shape? Okay. Showing the structure, the eye over here. And here you go. I'm going to have a little suggestion for the eye, like that. That's good enough. You just have to see the shapes. Don't keep thinking about a horse, a horse, a horse. A horse won't help you, okay? You have to help yourself to find the shapes. Okay, a little shape over here showing the contrast on the hair. Okay, that's good. I'm going to come back, continue, develop a little shadow. Uh, maybe a little bit more over here, showing a little bit more, maybe too much. So let's use the water, soften it. Okay, that's good. Now I need to put the color uh, to the to her shoes. Maybe this is, will be the color, have a little bit more yellow. Um, if you avoid looking for the colors and it's just making, making it up in your mind, it's not going to be right. Okay, I'm going to mix with this. I'm going to come to take a look at, take a look at a shoe, a shoe like that. This the shadow. Like that. And here you go. You have a little bit like that. That's good enough. All right, let's, how about put some color to the horse tail? Uh, what is that color? Huh? Oh, sure. Um, let me put a little color to the horse, horse tail. And right over here. Here you go. You have to look at how dark is that color. Uh, what is that color is? Okay, coming down over here. Brown color again. Okay, now I'm gonna come back over here to make a little bit confirmation of this. Much better. Is that how easy? I'm gonna have this the same color. Okay, I'm gonna come back over here. Uh, get a little bit smaller and smaller shape. Okay, here you go, like that. And a little bit coming down, the strap coming down over the leg. I'm going to use the same brown color, create the details. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to also put the shadow side of her leg. And I'm going to put this dark color over here first, like that behind her. Here you go. Right over here. That's good. Now I'm gonna have a little bit blue color, a little bit darker blue. Now take a look at the shadow side. When you do the shadow side, make sure you lift the light side. Okay, like coming over here, that's good, right? Now her leg look dimensional. Okay, have a little bit shadow over here underneath. If anything we need to change, I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow and the red mixed with this brown color. Um, I'm gonna take a look at 
if it needs to be somehow reorganized that little bit. So let's take a look. Kind of like a couple stroke, it would organize that a little bit better. Um, a little bit yellow. Just a large brush would do the work better.